Between 1979 and 1982, Dryden successfully demonstrated a very unique aircraft called the AD-1. The AD-1 featured a wing that could be pivoted obliquely from 0 to 60 degrees during flight. Rather than sweeping both wings back to fly more efficiently at supersonic speeds, the whole wing of the AD-1 rotated, which greatly simplified the mechanical design. While the AD-1 was not specifically designed for high speeds, it demonstrated the concept for a possible future high-speed design. During this decade, aircraft efficiency became more important with the increasing cost of fuel. Projects like the KC-135 winglets and active and passive laminar flow control projects on the Jetstar, the F-111 and F-14 aircraft were explored. While laminar flow control concepts have not been used yet on commercial transports, winglets have had wide use on many Boeing and Airbus airplanes.